Hey guys, George here from Zero Pay Productions, and today on Skyrim Saturday Mods, I'm playing Project AHO by Haim Productions. Project AHO is a DLC-sized quest mod, adding a new hidden settlement of House Telvani, bringing the Great Dunmer House back to its former glory. This new Telvani settlement, Sadrith Kigron, is built upon the ruins of an old Dwemer city. Project AHO will take you to various locations over the course of its story, as well as allow you to take on over a dozen side quests in which you will become more familiar with Sadrith Kegron and its inhabitants. The mod is available for Skyrim Classic on PC and Skyrim Special Edition on both PC and Xbox One. To start the main quest, you'll need to have already reached level 15. Once you're outside of any of the cities in Skyrim, you'll be contacted with further details. Welcome to Project AHO. Soon you will experience an event the likes of which are outside your influence. We strong, strongly recommend you to finish up anything you aim to get done soon before continuing. Click I'm ready and go on a trip to Skyrim without a horse or carriage, not in vampire lord or werewolf form. Click wait if you're not ready. This message will appear after 12 game hours. I'm ready. I just take a trip to Skyrim? Just anywhere in Skyrim without... Vampire form, werewolf form, I don't have a horse, I don't have a carriage, so anywhere that's not a city, essentially? Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the alchemist shack, why not? Am I waiting for a courier? Or someone else? I mean, so far I don't see anything, so... There's that. Someone want to give me the quest already? Please? This courier must be the slowest person in the world. I've waited over 24 hours. And nothing. I've not seen anyone. I've not heard anyone. I've not seen any events happening either. So if it's some sort of like visual cue, that hasn't happened either. So I don't know what's going on just yet. I don't think I've run into this issue before, where I go to start a mod and the mod just doesn't start. I don't think I've had that issue. It, I might have had it before, but suffice it to say, after playing how many hundreds of mods now, who can keep track of all of it? I mean, I'm going to try and be patient. I'm going to see what I can see, maybe wander around just a little bit, do some laps, do some patrolling of the area, see if we can find whoever it is who's looking for me. Oh, here we food. go. Finally, finally. You, the one whom the prophecy speaks of. It is you. Come hither, chosen one. I must lay my eyes on you. Uh, I'm, I'm listening. I am Yargo Groshak, a member of an ancient orcish cult by the name of Orsinium Virum. For the longest time, we, the voices of Orsinium, have trekked throughout Tamriel in search of support for our cause. A moment is all I ask. Is he gonna ask me to come to Jesus? Is this just the equivalent of, like, Skyrim's... Oh, goddamn, just... I'm gonna forget the name of them, but you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, sorry I'm not interested in your religious fanaticism. Fine, how can I help? Uh, what exactly is it that you do? The history of our cult dates as far back as our race itself. Jehovah's Witnesses. Long ago, our leader Trinimac perished because of the wicked goddess Boethia. I remember the name. All our nation was disfigured and turned into monsters. But this humiliation wasn't enough for her. She wanted to make us accept our new state. She made a vile copy of Trinimac's former glory and turn it against us to enthrall and humiliate our people. Alas, many orcs fell victim to our wicked plots, and accepted the new god, and called him Malakath, and follow his dishonorable advice to this day. But the cult remembers. Okay. We will never forget the true nature of our race. Never forget our lord, the great Tridimac. That's good for you. Why now? For centuries, we lived in hope of justice. That time will come when we will find a way to make everything right again. 
One leader of ours, the famous hero of Orsinium, Agro Gro Macro, had a divine revelation. Trinamac himself came to him in a dream and said he could be restored to our world and explained how exactly this could be achieved. <laughs> the guard doesn't want Agro any part of this. He's so confused. Told no one about his plan, but the first thing to do was to find. Find the one who would help us in our difficult mission. He had witnessed the chosen one of Trinamac himself. Will you offer your aid to our cause? Uh, fine. How can I help? Such enthusiasm can only be envied. What a pity that all of this was no more than a great diversion. A diversion? Tie him down, lads. Oh, but what? Be careful. It's not a yam sack. Why didn't the guard do anything? Is that why he was just walking around casually? Like, oh, let me get out of here. Wake up, you scum! No, oh, no. You're as obedient as a dog with these amulets around your necks. Oh, no, no. Pray that you aren't sold to a local. Every N1 Sadrav Kegran has their tongue cut out, lest they ask one too many questions. Now get out of the cage and follow me! Okay, okay. Take your places on the counter... And don't make a sound. Am I being sold into slavery? I mean, I am. I don't need to ask that. I know I'm being sold into slavery. Oh, I'm not walking. This isn't me. I'm not doing anything. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Ooh. Well, this is pretty. Oh, boy, slave auction. How much do you think I'm worth? I like to think I'm worth a, a pretty septum or two. I'm not going to be worth anything, just watch. Mark your enemy for death before they mark you. Honorable Mer, These lizards look lifeless. Come closer, closer. Take a gander at our latest merch. You Marissa, don't forget bad. about the Red Oran. They only want Khajiit. First off the auction, with a peculiar pick, I present lot number one, a vampire! Okay, I thought he was a vampire. Bid at 500 septums. Six! 600! More offers! Six going once, going twice. Six, can I get a seven? He's not getting a seven. Sold to Master Selfry for 600 septum. I better sell for more than six. Purchase Master Selfry. Lot number two. A young female Argonian. Freshly plucked from the Windhelm docks. Bid begins at 450 gold. Aww. 800 septums. Oh, oh he's gonna Whoa. fuck her. That's quite a bit from Sergio Berendez. 850 gold. Anyone to beat? Yep, he's paying to fuck her. Any other offers? Nope, that's, that's why he's paying Nine. so much. Oh! 1,100. Oh, no. Lot number two. 1,100 septums. Going once. Going twice. Who's more? Sold. For a sum of 1,100 septums to our splendid guest, Sergio Verandes. The subtitle said Dallos. But I'm in desperate need of a new handmaiden. Mark your enemy for death before they mark Swiftly you. Swiftly moving on. Lot number three, a middle-aged lizard. Harvested from the woods of Falkry. Starting bed at 500 septums. Is Surely that a slave just running around? Of one of you fine folk. I just saw a slave running around. First for such a shining old specimen. A shame. Please remove lot number three from the auction. Oh no. He is yes, going to me. make a good pass. Oh, oh no. Oh, I better sell for a good amount of gold then. Oop, oh, all right. Okay. Mm on to lot number four. A nord. There seems to be plenty of these around. We might even offer you insurance. Starting at 300 septums. 400. 500. You just bought one. Calm down. 650 septums. 
700. You already have one. A thousand septums. Oh god. Two thousand septums. This is Maybe not steel. Varen. Any last offers? Who's more? Final call. This is your last chance. Sold. Master Selfry. Lot number four is yours. You will serve me well, Enoir. Oh boy. This is my life now. I'm just a slave. I see you are awake. Great, we have time for a little chat. I'm listening. What happened to me? You were sold at the slave market. Do you not recall, Sweat? You are my property now. A nameless Enwa with a past. You serve me now. I could have sworn that slavery was illegal. Uh, you can't force me to do anything. Uh, when will you let me go? Why, why would he let me go? He just paid 2,000 septums for me. That's why, not when. You will perform your duties, and perhaps I'll make you my legitimate voice. What is if I don't leave this place earlier? What? What? That's none of your concern. Uh, however, you will understand it if you are clever enough. I'm not going to understand it. And what am I supposed to do now? Have I answered all of your questions? No, not really. Not at all. I have more questions. I'm listening. He's very kind for a master. It's like he's answering all my questions. Most people would not. Where am I? Uh, in a cage. I suppose it's your home from now on. For a broader perspective, you are in Sadrith Kegra, a secret outpost of House Telvani in Skyrim. House Telvani? Read. If you cannot, take this one as well and you'll learn. Hey, there we go. ABCs for barbarians. And who are you? Magister of House Telvani, renowned scholar, author of a myriad of works on ritual semantics. And your rightful master, Shanath Selfry. Do you even know who I am? I'm the goddamn Dragonborn. No idea. Do pray tell. Uh, on second thought, you'd rather not. Henceforth, you are a blank slate. You will not utter a word of your past. Alright, well, where is that damn orc? His name is Yargol Groshak, or Shaglak. Not that damn orc. From now on, you will address him with due respect. I'll kill him! He just kidnapped me. He said they would cut out our tongues. He didn't say that, but... Oh, no, he did say that. Never mind. He did. When, uh, we were waking up in the cell. Yes, they did cut them off. All but yours. I had no need for a typical Enoir. Only good for scut work and pleasures of the flesh. I was in need of an assistant who'd help me with my work and small talk with these... Done, man, on my behalf. Alright. I don't have just an option to say, okay. I have to say, release me immediately. Silence, you sweat. Go you fuck yourself. You cost of 2,000 septems. Don't get smart with me, or I'll have you scrub my piss pot. I'll make you my piss pot. And I have no option just to say, okay. There are a few rules you must follow before I set you free. Okay. From now on, Enwa, you are forbidden to leave Sadrith Kegra until you get your freedom. You can go wherever and do whatever, as long as it's within the settlement. 
You are not allowed to talk about your past. Bullshit. If you hold the desire to end someone, you will find yourself incapable. You will tell me nothing but the truth. This doesn't apply to others, though. That's it, I think. Your amulet is now attuned and won't let you get loose. Get out of your cage and go take a look around. Sorry, go walk around the city. Chit chat with a local riffraff. But don't loiter too long. You have work to do. Completed chapter one. Wrong place, wrong time. Chapter two. Looking for lost freedom. And that's a skeleton. I'm gonna take the wine, I'm gonna take the apple, I'm gonna take this bread and the cheese. Alright, so let's see what we have. Hey, Sadrith or Sadrith Kegron, a brief <laughs> a brief history part one. I'll be taking that. We have What was that? We have a warrior. Oh, what? 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 Oh, what? Oh, what's going on? Wait, why is he? Oh, I stole it. I stole it. That's my bad. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I was not paying attention. And I don't have a quick save at all. God damn it! All right. Bear with me one second. Alright. There we go. Much better. I did not expect my servant to be so fat with it. Okay. I love Yes, yeah. I love having Have a good day. Home <sighs> sand to your feet. A happy new year. Fare thee well. I love having the uh, the bend will shout. It makes everything so much easier. Hey, talk to Enwa. Or not. Okay, I can't talk to Enwa. Well, now I have to make sure I'm not stealing anything else. I can take the warrior. That's fine. There's a pitchfork. Ooh, grape juice. Uh, so a couple things I did want to talk about in this video. I'm sure some of you are asking or wondering why I'm doing this and not vigilant. There are uh, a couple different reasons for that. First off, Project AHO is uh, a relatively new mod, and I did want to try and cover this while it was still new, while it was still relevant, before, you know, months and months had gone by and I just hadn't covered it or played it or anything of that sort. I like the mud crabs. So far, I really like everything. Everything's very nicely done. Every Everything's just very nicely crafted and put together, and it's beautiful. Uh, second off, I did just want to take a break from Vigilant because I'm at a point in Vigilant where it's very... It's kind of stressful. It's uh, almost horror-esque, or at least thriller-esque, and I'm just trying to take things a little bit easier. For those of you who have not seen uh, the videos I put out recently or just are not aware of the situation. I was in the hospital a little while ago uh, because of troubled breathing, shortness of breath, uh, so on and so forth, and then I was diagnosed with cancer. I start uh, chemotherapy, I start my treatment in about a week from now, and while I'm not doing my regular video workload, just because I'm really not able to, I'm not in the mood and I'm not physically able to, I am trying to do some videos, including Skyrim Saturday, but I figured Project AHO might be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit easier uh, for me to play than Vigilant for right now, as well as wanting to cover it while it was still relatively fresh. But hey, so far this is beautiful. I did not know what to expect. I was not expecting to be sold into slavery. But, you know, it's, uh, it's just how things go. Oh, okay, I still have stuff in my inventory. Uh, Rusplin Tunic, Foot Wraps, no weapons, alright, makes sense. Amulet of Suppression, which deprives its wearer of willpower. Which is why I can't kill anyone or do anything of that sort. Well, he did say look around, talk to people, get to know the riffraff and everything, so... 
I suppose we'll do that. What do you need? Or not you, because you're a garden. You don't do anything. Okay. I really like the settlement, though. I just got here, but just looking at it, this place is absolutely incredible. I'm very happy with this already. I don't know if the council hall is going to have anyone that's going to want to talk to me. I am a slave. They're not going to give me the time of day. Oh! Oh, we got some people here. How's the deciphering of your uncle's journal going, Erva? He was my great-great-grandfather, not an uncle. How do you forget all the time? Working on it. Have some progress already. Good to hear. And what will you do when you're done? I'll show my notes to Master Nellos. Ooh. Hopefully, with his support, I can establish a new practice of magic. Sure. Who, who bumped if me? If that's the case, we could open a school of magic here in the Following me? For pure-blooded Dunmer only, of course. Exactly. I hope one day we will become the center of revival of House Telvani's great power. Huh? What is your role as a consul? Mrs. Verendus and I represent the interests of House Telvani here in Skyrim, even despite our house not being as powerful as it were in the past. In general, I have little work, so I spend time in my own research. Are there any additional details? About the research. I'm working on deciphering the records left by my great-great-grandfather. Most magicians practice proven spells, studying their ancient tomes or by seeking a teacher. But my ancestor, Niden Milo, crafted his own spells, like an artist who paints his own picture. Niden kept his spells in an encrypted journal. Now, I'm very close to uncover the secrets of some of the most powerful forms of magic. Care to be my assistant? Uh, yeah. Why not? With you, our research will speed up. My great-great-grandfather invented an interesting way to manipulate time, absolutely imperceptible to others. If I can recover the right formula, I will be able to learn this magic and teach you. I have some samples which need testing. Here is the first scroll. Please, try them out when you are able. Speak quickly. Started. A legacy of ancestors. What now? Are you the queen? A queen? No, silly. I'm the consul, which makes me an authorized representative of House Telvani here in Skyrim. And House Telvani is one of the great houses of Morrowind. Albeit in decline nowadays. Someday, Sedrith Kegran will become the center of the revival of our greatness. I feel like no true Telvani would ever use the word decline when describing their house. They're too prideful for that. I haven't heard about your town. Because we keep our existence a secret. The special Telvani magics forbids mm -hmm. talking about the town outside its borders, and only those who know about it may enter. Why are you engaged in the slave trade? Slavery is an integral part of the Dameri culture. Bullshit. Selen was to Morrowind or overseas. Keeps on to ourselves from time to time. And when will I be released? Such you free. Such arrogance. You are the property of Master Selthry now, and you are to carry out his orders. Just give me a sock. I'll be a free man. I'll get out of here. I'll get back to work. You're sitting around. You're not doing jack shit. So she didn't have a quest for me. Or at least it didn't seem like she did. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just kind of... I'm just going to try to take a look around. I'll see who has quests for me, who doesn't. Hello, Emwa. How are you? Oh, you're just holding that, uh... <gasps> holding that platter. Oh. Oh, did you just escape? Alright, then. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put you back in there. Let's, uh, pretend that never happened. Alright, yeah, let me see if I can find anyone who, uh... Is gonna give me more quests. I wanna stock up on the quests now before I... Do anything else. Yeah? All right, we're in the alchemy shop now. Hmm? Can I offer my assistance with anything? What can you help me with? I don't know. As a matter of fact, I have got a task for you. Have you heard of Telvani Bugmust? Oh, I have! It's a very rare and expensive perfume. 
highly prized throughout the Empire. Even a barbarian would be drawn to its fragrance. The idea of making it hit me recently. That's why I was in need of the scent glands of the Grayzund bugs. By some miracles, Shaglak managed to get some for me. I'd like you to collect my order from him. The glands have been paid for. Will you help me? Alright, I will do it. Thank you. I might even reward you with a sample of the perfume. I'm fine. That's fine. How long have you been in Cedrith Kegron? Since the founding day. I used to live in Telmora, but then I found myself in the middle of Selthree's expedition. And then we discovered this place. What are these strange plants everywhere? At the center of town, where the council hall is located, you can see Tel And, the prime mushroom. Its magic not only elongates our lives drastically, but also makes the plants mutate wonderfully. Some of them I brought from Blackreach, while others have grown themselves. And what can you tell me about Sadrith Kegron? You can get a rundown of the town's history from Erva Milo. He'll happily tell you. I can only say that this is a magical place. And I don't plan on leaving. My master does. Alright. Now, if you'll excuse me. There wouldn't be any point in me asking her what she has for sale since I can't buy anything anyway. I'm pretty sure they would have taken all of my gold. Yep, took all my gold. It wouldn't make sense if they didn't. I would just buy my goddamn freedom then. Hey, boss. Yeah. I'm waiting. Are you for the Stormcloaks or the Legion? He's not gonna say either. He's, he doesn't give a shit. Uh, where am I? Sadrith Kegra. I've told you that already, you yeah. sackwit. All right. Ugh. I have a lot of work to do, don't bother me. That's fair. Out with it. Any work for me? You don't seem to be in a hurry, Enwa. Firstly, pick up my stuff from Varun the Smith. In the case you stumble across Murano, tell him I have no time to inspect his project. There's a coin purse to pay for the job. Where can I find this Bralis? He's working the forge most of the time. You'll find it with ease. Just look for the sign. That might be worth a check at the inn, too. Who's Morano? Rodham's empty headed son. He wanted me to take him on as an apprentice. His father was against it, and now he's nagging whenever he gets a chance. When I tell him that his son is Warnick of a scamp, and there's no point in teaching him, Varun doesn't like it any better. You guys are just all assholes. I mean, I'm not surprised, but... Yeah. Aye. Aye. All right. A problematic neighborhood. Shanath ordered me to get his staff from Varen the Smith. All right. Ooh, what is this? Okay, it's a well. I couldn't tell. It looked like it was some sort of almost like just black hole, which I don't know why I would jump into it then. It doesn't seem like the best idea. Cedrith Kegron Catacombs. Okay. Yeah, I'm still just trying to get a, a sense of the town and everything. This one need something? Oh, you're the one who's gonna fuck your slave. Hmm? Oh, Murano. Uh, Shanath asked to convey that he had no time to inspect your project. Here we go again. It seems that I'll never reach great scholarhood like Master Selthry. All right. This one needs something? What's that mark on your forehead? My swit of a father thought if he'd paint up my face, It'll make me want to stay in the forge all day and pound one piece of metal with another. Have you got your answer? All right. Do you, uh, need help with anything? Help? Sure. 
Recently, I came up with an idea to craft a weapon out of fungus bark. Too bad. I, I don't know whether it is possible to apply bark this way. I'm certain our alchemist, Tamina Elenil, will know the answer. Can you ask her about it? Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, apologies. I'm a bit hasty. In ancient times, the mages of Hal Silvani would create armor and weapons out of the bark of fungus trees. Nowadays, this knowledge is lost. The houses in which we live are actually branches of Tel Ond. That's the raw material I want to learn how to craft weapons out of. Could you kindly ask Tamina for me, please? All right. So be it. I will have a word with her. Thank you very much. Maybe our family should be more lenient with outlanders like yourself. Maybe you shouldn't go around enslaving us. Yeah. See you. There's an idea. Oh, it's the new blood. How do you do? I'm good. How are you? Well, hello. Hello. So, you're a huntress? Nah. Father, however, show me my way around weapons. I can protect myself. He just values me too much. And that's why he never takes me on a hunt. It's my boyfriend, Mayron Dwine, who helps him with getting the stuff. But honestly, I don't receive much attention from him as of late. Feels like he's never in the mood to talk to me. It's all that time he's spending with your dad. He's cheating on you with your dad. Perhaps I should have a word with him. No, oh, stop you. I don't want to involve you in our troubles. I have nothing else Just to do. Just put yourself in my position. Occasionally, I glance at the other women in town, and they're all with new necklaces or earrings at times, even daily. I want something beautiful too. Last month, father gave me a dagger. Again. Varen crafts them for him. I've run out of free space to store the weapons. A while ago, I have to secretly take them back to the smith. But father soon brings me these daggers as new gifts. Mayron seems to have given up talking to me. At all. I'll still talk to Mayron and with your father. Really? Maybe they'll listen to you. A slave. If you get the chance to speak with father, start with why he never takes me with him on a hunt. Why would they listen to me? A slave. It makes no sense. Hey, Mayron. Good afternoon. Also, never mind. That wasn't the guy who bought the slave to fuck her. That's the guy who bought the slave to fuck her. Uh, your behavior is frustrating. Irony. She's let you in on everything, hasn't she? There's no blame on her. The fault's entirely mine. I love her dad. You see, I found a gorgeous necklace not far from Steamcrack Camp and decided to give it to Irini. But I broke it in a fight with some mobster, and there's no way I can fix it. Our next outing won't be soon, and I've got nothing to cheer my girlfriend with. Why don't you ask Varen? At first, I wanted to deal with it myself, but realizing that I was only making things worse, I turned to Varen. But he's in no position to rectify it. Speaking of his son, Murano is busy with some stupid Dwemer project, and that's how I ended up without my Master of Craft. Perhaps I could try fixing it. Really? You're on short leg with this knowledge, aren't you? I'd be ever so grateful. I really am just helping everyone. And you wouldn't expect it, seeing as I'm a slave. Everyone's just like, oh yes, let's tell the slave all of our deep, intimate problems. This better be good. Is Sadrath Kegron inhabited solely by Dunmer? That's a dumb question. It's Dunmer and then slaves. Indeed. Well, not counting Shaglak, the orc. Don't ask me. I don't know what the deal's with him. Alright. I'll take my leave, then. You're not taking your leave, I'm taking my leave. You're just sitting there, not doing jack shit. 